In this video, we will see about finding the number of unique binary search tree for the given number of nodes using the Catalan number. Here, before seeing about this problem, we will learn what is binary search tree. The binary search tree is a tree. The value in the root node is always greater than or equal to the value present in the left node. Here, in this case, the root node has the value 2. The left child should have value lesser than the root node. Here, the left side has the value 1, which is lesser than the value 2. The right subtree will always have a value greater than the root node. Here, in this case, we have 3, which is obviously greater than 2. So, this will be applicable for the complete right subtree and the complete left subtree. That is, all the values present in the left subtree must be lesser than the root node and all the values present in the right subtree must be greater than the root node. For more information on binary search tree, refer to my video tutorial on binary search tree, the link of which I gave in the description. Now we will see about what is unique binary search tree. If you have the value of n as 1, that means you are given with only one node. In this case, we can able to form only one unique binary search tree. So if you are given with the value 2, so you will have two nodes, so 1 and 2, we can have it as 1 as the root node and 2 as the right child and if you have 2 as the root node then you can have 1 as the left child. So for the value 2 that can be 2 unique binary search tree. Number of nodes is 3. We will explore what are the different unique binary search tree when the value of n is 3. Here the root node is 1 and for this root node 1 we have a right subtree. In this right subtree, the root node is 3. This is a valid binary search tree because 2 and 3 are greater than 1 and 2 is lesser than 3. 3 is the root node and 2 is the left child of it and 1 is the left child of 2. 2 as the root node and 1 as the left child and 3 as the right child. Here we can have 3 as the root node and 1 can be the left subchild and 2 can be the right subchild of the node 1. Here we can have another variant. Here in this case the root node is 1, 2 is the right subchild and 3 is the right subchild of the node 2. So for the value 3, we can have 5 unique binary search tree. So for the value n equal to 4, we will derive the number of unique binary search tree. We have the nodes as 1, 2, 3, 4, which is sorted in ascending order. So if you take the value that is the root node as 1, we can have 2, 3, 4 comes under the right subchild because the value 2, 3, 4 are greater than 1, so it can be placed only in the right subchild. We will see how many variants we can derive when the root node is 1. So far, the root node 1, we have 3 nodes. If we have n equal to 3, then we can form 5 unique subtree we can have 5 unique subtrees with the root node 1. So we will add 5 to the result and I will let this animation run so that you can see what are the different variants when the root node is 1. Now we will make 2 as a root node and we will see how many unique binary search tree we can form with this root node. So if I make 2 as a root node then 3 and 4 obviously will be in the right subtree because the 3 and 4 are greater than the node 2 and 1 forms the left subtree. So for the node 1, we can have only one unique subtree. In this case of 2, that is 3 and 4, we can form two unique subtrees. One is 3 as the root and 4 as the root. Now I let this animation run. Now we will take the root node 3. In this case, the values 1 and 2 will be less than the value 3. So 1 and 2 forms the left subchild and 4 forms the right subchild. 1 and 2 we can form 2 unique subtrees and with 4 you can form only 1 unique subtree. So 2 into 1 we will get 2. So with the node 3 we can form 2 unique subtrees. I will let this animation run so that you can visualize how many unique subtrees can be formed in the root node is 3. Now I am making the root node as 4. In this case, 
there is no value greater than the value 4 so there is no right subchild so here we have three nodes which can form the left subtree when n is 3 there will be five unique subtrees i will let this animation run we can be able to visualize we can form five unique subtrees when the root node is 4 so for the value 4 we have 14 unique binary search tree now we will say this algorithm in code here this function takes the input parameter n which is the number of nodes here i am initializing the memorization array and i am assigning n plus 1 values to this memorization array and i am assigning for the value 0 we have one unique binary search tree and for the value 1 we have one unique binary search tree and we will let this for loop run starting from the value 2 to the value n now we will see what happens when the value of n is 2 when the value of n is 2 we have two nodes let's assume those nodes are 1 and 2 here the formula is the number of unique binary search tree that can be formed with the left nodes multiplied by the unique binary search tree that is present in the right hand side when the root node is 1 there will be 0 nodes to represent the left subtree and there will be only one node to represent the right subtree which is when there is a 0 nodes we are giving the value 1 and dp 2 minus 0 minus 1 here 2 is the number of nodes minus the number of left nodes so here in this case we have 0 nodes to represent the left subtree minus 1 here the minus 1 is represent the root node dp0 into dp1 gives us the value 1 when the root node is 2 we have 1 node to represent the left subtree and 0 node to represent the right subtree here i am multiplying dp1 into dp2 minus 1 minus 1 which is 0 here in this case we got the value 1 into 1 which is 1 adding both the values we will get 2 if the n is 2 we will have the value 2 so when the n is 2 we can form two unique binary search tree now we will see what happens when the value of n is 3 here in this case we have three nodes let's assume those nodes are 1 2 and 3 first the root node is 1 in this case there will be zero nodes to represent the left subtree and two nodes to represent the right subtree so the formula is dp0 into dp3 minus 0 minus 1 we have seen that 3 is the number of nodes minus the number of nodes towards the left and minus 1 which represents the root node here we have dp0 into dp2 gives us the value 2 i am making 2 as the root node if i make 2 as a root node i have one node to represent the left subtree and one node to represent the right subtree in this case dp1 into dp1 gives us the value 1 now i am making 3 as a root node if i make 3 as a root node i have two nodes to represent the left subtree and zero nodes to represent the right subtree in this case dp2 into dp3 minus 2 minus 1 which is dp0 so dp2 into dp0 gives us the value 2 so 2 plus 1 plus 2 gives us the value 5 this is finding the number of unique binary search tree with the catalan number this catalan number is applicable to wide variety of problems one of the such problem is the combination of brackets we can array with the given pairs if there are two pairs we can form two combination if there are three pairs we can form five combination so the catalan number can be applicable to wide varieties of problem thanks for watching this video for more videos on coding interview and uh, algorithms and computer programming topics subscribe to this channel thanks for watching thanks for subscribing